Yeah. Uh, uh, 
Amazing, I dare say. And you'd better be good, or else. We will keep shooting and stop only for your doubles to take your place for the realism scenes, okay? Okay. Ready, light, camera, action! Police Chief to Catman! Ding dong, the creature from outer space! Great! Does that have me to stunt, man? For real, is it a real creature from outer space? See you later! <laughs> Just great. Academy Award, here we come. Okay, stars, action. We'll capture that giant creature for you, officer. Cut, doubles on the roof. You throw the cab rope to the other roof and swing down, get it? Ready for stars, close up. Oh dear, another tough scene. I'll save you, Ruben, old chap. Cut. Thanks, fellas. Uh, move that camera in for a close up. Except 
stone. So don't get any ideas. Hey, I've been chasing my tail the wrong way all this time. Gotcha. All right, you job stealers. I'm back in and you're going out. Give me that, you little squirt. Oops, I mean big squirt. Ha, half a magic wand is all I need to get you two out of my fur. Enjoy your trip to the North Pole. We settle this like gentlemen. Say a magic duel. Okay? Okay. Remember the rules. Ten paces, turn, and cut loose. One, two, three, four, five. And your numbers up, chumps. Huh? Now you're gonna bug out permanently. Something, Manfred? 
Looks like anybody can be a magician nowadays. You're right, Master. The business is going to the dogs. <laughs> This is the city, uh, city. Once a peaceful, busy town, it is now caught in the iron grip of crime, uh, crime. People are afraid to go out. Fiends <coughs> like the bowler are on a rampage. <laughs> I see the robber baritone is another sour note. This baby grand is worth a cool grand. And no billboard is safe from the mustache. As if this were not bad enough, striking fear in the hearts of all food peddlers. Weighing in at 300 pounds, Pat Woman is on the loose. Yummy! When asked why he couldn't stop the crime wave, Police Chief Joe Padern-Dern said, Unfortunately, my hands are tied. I sure wish Super Kate would come to the rescue. I wonder where he can be. Hello, Pete's Taylor shot? This is Stanley Kate. Er, uh, I mean, Carter. Could you send my suit and hat over, please? Yes, Mr. Carter, right away. Uh, Tom, Jerry! Uh, get this stuff over to Mr. Carter's house. Apartment 10C. Uh, oh, it's you. Come in, quick. Thank goodness it's you. One never knows who's at one's door nowadays. Yes, it is I, Super Kate, champion of niceness, but just a shadow of what I used to be. I suppose you're wondering why I let crime go unstopped on the streets. The sad truth of it is, I have lost my courage. Oh, if it ever gets out, my arch enemies will strike at me at any moment. And that is why I have asked you to bring my civilian clothes. I'm all washed up. Hark! It's my arch enemy, the bowler. Right you are, chicken super king. And I'm here to bowl you over. <laughs> oh, goodness. You just ruined my wall. You win, Super Kate. You knocked the pins out from under me. I'll be nice from now on. I know the score. That rumor about you being cowardly sure was false. Bye, sucker. No! I was only fooling Super Kate. Please, spare me. You may split. Turn in your bowling shoes and go directly to jail. Thanks, Super Kate. Tom and Jerry, you have given me new courage. And for your reward, I'm making you deputy super capes. Together we shall fight badness and rid our city of crime. Super cape? You're back in action, you say? Sure, I've got crimes for you to fight. At this very moment, your arch enemy, High C, is headed for the Navi Piano Store. This is a job for Super Cape. Oh, yes, and for Tom and Jerry, too. Da 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 da! Goodness, that scared feeling is coming back. I'm getting cold feet again. Tom and Jerry, you will have to go on ahead while I grapple with my nerves. You must stop High C before he sings and breaks the window. Go to it! Oh my goodness! I forgot to tell them how to pull out of a dive! Strikes again. 
now I sing my high note, which will shatter the glass, and the piano is mine. Do, re, mi, fa, so. The window was broken before you even got here, so you were off key from the start. Foiled by Super King! <laughs> Breaking the glass was very clever, Tom and Jerry, Super King deputies. Wait, it's a message from the Chief on my two-way radio bracelet. Yes, Chief? The mustache is messing up all the posters over at Billboard Row. Stop it! Now, here's the plan. You two will paste up these self-sticking posters to slow him up. Then, I come from behind and grab him. Get it? <laughs> oh, dear. He's there. But my cold feet are back. All right, you two. What's this all about? Something around the corner, eh? Yeah. Ha! Another one! Yeah. Yikes! A real cop! And you're going to a real jail! Super Kate, my arch enemy, you're behind this! Nice work, Super Kate. Your two deputies let him right into a trap. Good work, boys. Your actions have given me the courage to go it alone. No man alive can frighten me again. No man, do you hear? No, no, help! Not you! I forgot about that woman. I quit. The job is all yours. Once again, the city is at peace, and clothes are delivered each day without fear from the little tailor shop. Because Super Cakes, Tom and Jerry, are on the job. Delivery! Boy, there go two real Super Cake heroes. Once upon a time, in a small village near a big castle, there lived a poor little orphan girl named Cinderella. Cinderella lived with her two mean stepsisters and her mean stepmother. Okay, baby cake. I'm your mean stepmother for this story, and you better believe it. You don't look content. Stand at attention when I'm talking to you! All right, let's get cracking. I want the windows washed, I want the dishes washed, oh, I want the floors full But most of all, I want my two beautiful daughters made ready for the ball. Yeah. Well, semi-cute daughters? Well, how about somewhat less than repulsive daughters? Would you buy that? Well, what are you waiting for? An early snow? Get moving! Now, my two sweet pussy comes. It's time to get ready for the ball. Now, listen, you freeloading cat. You're making a bigger mess than before. Hmm. I don't remember no dumb cat in this fairy tale. Now, my precious darling, are you ready yet? No, because Cinderella is not helping enough. Well, if some people can help out around here, well then... Some people wouldn't be able to go to the ball, right, girls? Yes, Mother. <laughs> Cinderella, Cinderella, help me with my powdered wig. Cinderella, I need help with my lipstick. And hurry up. Cinderella, I need help with my shoes. Cinderella, I need my corset tied. 
That was really mean of that mean stepmother. I mean, really. And those two mean sisters, if you know what I mean. What this story needs now is a fairy godmother to lighten things up, if you get my meaning. Oh, oh, here I am, your fairy godmother. I think I'm your fairy godmother. Oh, yes, of course I am. Nobody else looks like a fairy godmother around here. So it must be me. See, I have the regulation wand with that spoiling stuff coming out of it. Well, I'm sure I'm a fairy godmother. Oh, yes. Oh, oh, oh. Of course I've got to be a fairy godmother, don't I? I'll prove it to you. I'll do a little magic. I'll change that mirror wall into a clear blue lake. Oh, here I am, your fairy chicken. Oh, why, that's not right. Oh, what am I again? You're our fairy godmother. Oh, of course. How silly of me. I'm your fairy godmother. And you have to get ready for the ball. First, you're going to need a team of white horses to pull your carriage. That doesn't seem right. I know a pumpkin has something to do with this story. Oh, well, anyway, we still need a carriage. <laughs> oh, now let's see. Uh, maybe the dress goes on the pumpkin. That's it. The dress goes on the pumpkin. Wow. Dynamite. Oh, hello, Dinari. <laughs> now we need some slippers. Oh, oh my goodness! It's Chicken Rella. No, that is definitely not the name of this story. Oh, is this will never do, dearie. Oh, why don't you go just as you are and now go in the horse carriage? To the ball! <laughs> Listen, Prince, you have got to get married soon. Do you know what the taxes are on an unmarried prince? You're breaking the kingdom. I know, I know. Oh, your friendship. I'd like you to meet my two lovely daughters. You're not by two more gorgeous girls in all your kingdom. Right, girls? Right. Yuck. Show the nice prince how well you dance. Yikes! Uh, pay no attention to that silly creature, Prissy. This is the daughter who can trip the light fantastic. <laughs> Farmer Tom and Farmer 
Jerry. Corn bars. Ah, there's nothing I like better than fresh, sweet corn. And you two like corn, right? But we both can't have it, right? Okay, then I have a deal for you. That corn is ready for picking. So whoever likes it most will have it all by the end of the day. Deal? No trespassing. This means keep out, especially crows. Okay, but how about just one little ear of corn? Because we're friends. Handcuffs. It looks like we're not friends. Well then, fellas. Arrivederci, adios, aloha, adieu, cheerio, farewell, and bye-bye. Ah, corn. Delicious corn. Lock me in here. It's dark and I can't get out. Delicious. Oh, being locked in with all this corn. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> Buttercorn? For me? Sure. Then the trap goes snap, and the bomb goes boom. Ha! But I'll be safe in here while I lasso me some hot butter. Oops. Well, I know that I shouldn't talk with my mouth full of delicious corn. But I think you guys did that just beautifully. I can't believe it. They hid some corn in a toy. <laughs> hey, I'm stuck in here. No fair, you guys filled this with glue. Did you miss me? A 
scarecrow. Just the place to have my snack. Ah, far from those farmers. <laughs> If I succeed, the whole world will know my name. The name of... Uh, 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 my name... Oh, this is so embarrassing. Uh, could you give me a hint? Uh, first word. Quack, 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 quack. Duck. Uh, second word. First syllable. Jack, Jack. The second syllable. Sick. Ill. 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 Duck. Jack. Ill. Duck. Jackal. Duck. Jackal. Doctor Jackal. Oh yes, that's me. And now, would you bring some tea, please, while I carry on with my experiment? Here's to be ready. I will test it on myself. Down the hatch. <sighs> I don't feel any taller, but I do feel some changes. Monster! Where? 
the laboratory? I can't believe it. Show me.
now to activate my thought control system before my subjects start thinking for themselves. <laughs> Attention all dogs, this is the great one, and here is your thought for the day. You must love all cats and mice. Repeat, you must love all cats and mice. They are your friends. Hey, what am I saying? No, no, don't touch that self-destruct button. Oh, no. Now everyone will love cats and mice, and everyone will think for themselves. Uh -huh. Picked up the rocket leaving the planet Dogstar. Our two stowaway space travelers are aboard, and what a story they'll have to give us! It's a perfect landing! Tell us, Tom and Jerry, was there any sign of life on the planet Dogstar? Ooh, ooh, look who's back! <gasps> Wait, come back! Don't go in there! That rocket is going to the moon! Can you believe it? They're off again. We'll never know about the mysterious planet Dog Star until Tom and Jerry get back from the moon. But we'll all be waiting for our brave cat and mouse tronauts. Yeah, especially me. <laughs> Discussion on departure. All right, mouse. Uh oh. 
hyperapprehended. Negative even. Don't tell me. You mean to evict me from my premises. My home even. <laughs> you can't. You can't. Leave me homeless. No place to rest my little head. To raise a little family. Myself even. I have a heart, fellas. Don't cast me out in the cold. The heat even. Oh, please. Let me stay. My home will be your home. We'll be roommates. Co-homeowners even. What do you say, fellas? Okay? Uh-huh. Oh, Swellsy! No, no, no! Oh, Swellsy, Swellsy! I'll never be alone again! We'll be a family! Just you and me and... Huh? Oh, no! Oh, yes! It's a wrecker! A tree wrecker trespasser! Clear the way! I'm building a road through here, and you're right in the way of progress. A road? Right through here? A little home yet? Like I said, clear the way, because nothing stands in the way of progress. So here it comes, ready or not. Gentlemen, a home is in danger. Therefore, to arms, to legs even. <laughs> Wait here! I have an idea! Ha! A couple of good bumps, and this tree will be a pile of toothpicks! Aha! There's the little bolt that holds the whole thing together! A couple of good turns, and this piece of iron will be a pile of junk! Stop me! Ha! Now let him try to stop my 20 ton steam shovel! Gee! Sure getting <coughs> smoggy in here! I can't hardly see a thing! So 